this is Tap Tap the Magnificent, and welcome to Let's Play Syra. Syra is an indie game created by Niklas Nijin. Nijin? I'm not quite sure how his name is pronounced. But it is an indie game available on Steam. It's available for like $10, I believe. I got it on sale. There was a large summer sale a little while ago. But Syra is a fun little puzzle game, and most of the game focuses around us setting up this teleporter. We need to collect items to set it back up. And so most of the puzzles we'll be solving will be to get items to put in there. And depending on which items you use, there are multiple endings to the game. And we'll see those when it comes time for that. And an interesting mechanic in this game, it's pretty much unique from games I've seen. What you do in many puzzle situations is you want to take a picture, and then you can open that picture later on, and you enter in passwords and solve puzzles like that. And not every puzzle will require pictures, but it's usually pretty obvious when you're going to need a picture. Sometimes it's just a memory thing, but the photos are always helpful. And sometimes the clues will be too complicated or annoying to easily remember, so you just want to take pictures whenever you get some conspicuous hint. And when we do need to use a picture, we can just open our PDA here and open the picture and just input the code or take whatever information we need to solve the puzzle. And we'll be deactivating a lot of lasers because there are a lot of lasers. And here's another conspicuous hint. And there is the sun. It's very bright. If you'll note, the tutorial is still on and there's a birdie. Hey birdie, what's going on? Let's open our PDA back up. And the solution is X. Staircase. Goat. Excellent. I do not like lasers. I like disabling lasers. And you can't take damage from falling in this game, but if you fall into water or lava or whatever, you'll die and you'll have to restart at wherever you last saved. If you complete a puzzle and then die, you won't lose the puzzle, but you'll just have to go back to wherever you were before. And there are some platforming elements to this game. It's not too big of a theme, but in some of the later levels there'll be some more difficult platforming than there are there is in this part of the game. There's a teeny bit of lag. This game is actually rather high resolution. Let's open and see what we got. We got an impulse charge. That is a part for our teleporter. But we don't have a way to leave the planet yet, so we'll keep looking. Anyway, unfortunately, we're getting a teeny bit of lag here. More than a teeny bit, actually. Due to... this game is actually decently high resolution. And I'm recording it at full resolution. Because there really isn't a resolution option. So... I'm just recording it at native resolution and hopefully YouTube will show it properly. But we'll need momentum to make some jumps like that last one there. And wherever we find a pool of water like this, we can press the photograph button in midair and we fly. For whatever reason. And we'll need that to do certain platforming parts of the game. And you'll generally want to arc yourself up like that so you fly on with a little momentum. And we got another item. We got tape. We can fix up our ship now. Because tape is wonderful to fix ships. NASA would approve. Let's just fix this up. All our engine needed was tape. Wonderful. Syrah takes dangerous pictures. But her sister was war was harmed 
in a car crash. And she teleported. If you read the title of the episode, you know that ended poorly. Because this is the episode in which Syra has an unfortunate accident while teleporting. There's currently only one episode, but the game sort of hints to further episodes. And this is the solar system we're in. Every puzzle we see will be in a different solar system. And we'll need to get different parts in different solar systems. And let's just go over here to Psyche. Or Sikai, or whatever. And it's a snow world. And it's very, very, very fluffy. It's more of a cotton candy world than a snow world, really. Let's just see what's out here. Lots of pine branches. Not really pine trees that I can see, but lots of pine branches. And there's a laser. Wave to the laser, everyone! Is that a word in the bottom right corner there? Yes, it is. It's another obvious place to accidentally open the PDA and then take a picture. Now, hopefully we can use that to solve some puzzle somewhere. All of the puzzles in the game will require hints from other planets sometimes, but all of the puzzles will be solvable from the information within the solar system. So you don't have to fly around to different areas really to solve the puzzles. Oh whoa! Spiky dudes! Whenever you see a creature you think is dangerous you can just take a picture, go into the menu, and you note that that little guy has a red triangle on him. That right triangle means that if you touch him, you'll die! And that's just not very good. Most people do not like touching things with large spikes. I like things with large spikes, but most of my friends don't, oddly enough. And that is the end of the world. I don't like the end of the world, so let's just not go there. I do like save points, though. Those are nice. Here's a little bit of platforming for you. Whenever you hit a wall like that one there, you can climb up by holding up. And if you don't, you'll just slide down. And you'll have to do the jump over again, and that just sucks. And none of the platforming gets too hard in these first areas, but there'll be some trickier bits later on. Ooh, here we have the battery charger. That's very randomly placed and convenient. But now, with our battery charged, we can go back to our ship and fly to a different solar system. And we can deactivate this laser con console with the matrix, apparently. Let's just pull out that picture. I know it said Mazo, but... I'll just open the picture anyway. And we need an M. Oops, I have a Y. I'll just reopen that. I was not paying attention. So let's spell out Mazo. M O. Where are you, Z? You tricky devil. Get back here. Well, we missed Z. There's another Z. Where is an O? I see you, O. Oh, you can't escape me. Not this time, O. Oh. Not this time. Actually, I don't think we really needed to do that, but I felt like turning off that laser. Because turning off lasers is good. But let's just head back to the ship. And now we can take off. We actually have enough charge to leave this planet, so... We will do that after this little sequence here. Time traveling through teleporters is just no good. Then again, all life on Earth seeming to disappear is pretty bad too. 
Yep. Teleporter accidents go horribly wrong. Every time. And we have to go halfway across the Milky Way galaxy. That should be pretty quick, right? Teleportation is never the best option. Haven't you seen any of the Star Trek things? The teleportation always ends badly. Remember that, viewers. Thanks for watching, and we will continue Syrah next time!